Hi everyone, starting from today, I will create a basketball game that targeted at Android. Basically, what we want to make is game like this. And in this video, we will start from the ball behavior, like how the ball is bouncing, how the physics works for the ball, and we will learn how to launch the ball. So we will shoot it, but still have no ring. And after that, we will create the trajectory for the ball. That's it for now. The next step after that, we will continue to make the scene with the basketball court and again continue to integrate the ball behavior and the gameplay. Okay, let's do this. First, I assume that you already have Unity. If not, you can install it yourself. It's easy. There are so many tutorials for it. Okay. Now let's set new project. Remember, we will create the ball behavior and we can create prefabs from that so we can use it in another project. Choose 2D, create name basketball behavior, and create project. I'm using Unity 2021. Let's wait. Okay, it's taking too much time, so I will fast forward this. Okay, it's done. Now we only have sample scenes, main camera, and nothing. That's all. What we want to focus at is the ball, remember. With that being said, let's find assets for that. Go to your favorite browser. I will use Chrome here. And I will just go to freepick.com because it's easy to get assets from here. Search basketball. And you can find any type of the ball you want. You can use vectors. And after that, download. Cut it so it will become transparent PNG. I already have the ball and already cut it into PNG. I'm using Affinity Designer because it's cheap <laughs> and one time payment. Uh, I choose the ball from these assets, but you can choose any other assets that's free. Basically, cut the ball to become like this. And we can just drag it into our Unity. Let's minimize this. And in our Unity, let's create folder. Um, maybe models and drag our ball into our unity. And we can drag it into our scene. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. Uh, I think the ball is too big. Let's scale it into the right size. Let's try... Oh, too small. Okay. okay, for now, I think 0.5 is okay. Save it. I always save after I do something in the project. I don't want it to miss anything if it crashed. Okay, basically we got our ball, but if we play this, it won't do anything. First thing, we want to give it a physics. So the ball can be affected by the gravity. We can do that just by add component and add rigid body because this is 2D. We can use rigid body 2D. 
Now press start again and we can see the ball falling down. Nice. Let's create our ground so we can make it bounce. Uh, for the ground, you can use anything too. And I will just use some square like this and with color green maybe. This is just temporary. Drag it. Uh, and if you want it to be snap, just press this to global and go to the move snap. See, it's already can snap. And we can just scale it up using this button right here and resize it. This is enough. And again, if we play, it won't bounce because it doesn't collide to anything, right? Our ball can fall but can't call out anything because it doesn't has collider so we can add it using add component and collider 2d and just just circle because it's a ball and you can see there's green outline and that makes up for our collider again now our ball can collide but it needs another object that can collide too. So our ground must be having a collider too. We can just use box collider. Let's see, edit. Okay, it's already have the right collider size. Now let's see how it works. Okay, nice. Now our ball can collide with the ground, but it's not bouncing, right? Now we will make it bounce. And how to do that? If we see in the ball, in the collider, there's material. Just like any object, it has materials that makes it an object. Let's say our skin. Our skin is a material. So we need to give material to the ball. To make the material, it's easy. Just create 2D physics material 2D. And here I want to give it as ball. There's friction and bounciness. Let's apply it to our ball first. Drag the ball material to here and Again, let's see what it's done. It do nothing, right? We need the ball to be to be able to bounce. So give the material bounciness to some value. We can try one and play again. See the difference. Oh, nice. It's bouncing, but we need a lower value for bounciness so it can stop. I think real world ball would be 0.75. Let's stop this and change the bounciness to, let's say, 0.5. Okay, and that happened. What if we set it as 0.75? Okay, I think it's great. And now we also need to see the ball rolling. We can add another object for that and make it able to roll using 
Okay, we can just use square again. And we can rotate it in this angle. Give color blue, maybe. It's up to you. Then move our ball right here. I think it's enough to make it rolling. And add component again. Again, give collider. That's it. And play. Okay, quite realistic. So we are done with the physics of the ball here. In the next section, we will learn to make drag and shoot so we can shoot our ball. That's it for now. We will create it until it's done and we can publish it into Android. If you like this kind of video series, please do like and subscribe. You'll find more and more complete project tutorials later. I also have Patreon if you'd like to support me in doing more of this. I'll leave the link in the video description. Hope you'll enjoy our journey. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.